Hey guys, assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my channel. I know I've been missing and I haven't been consistent with my vlogging. I've just had a lot going on. Actually, that's a lie. I've just not been in the mood. You know when I'm not in the mood to do something? Nothing can change that. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't do it. I mean, especially when it comes to vlogging, social media. I feel like that's just like a little side piece on the side and you know there's more important like there was more priority stuff going on like I was prioritizing my stuff I am Shelly Rahman if you guys don't know me um also if you haven't subscribed please hit that subscribe button I would really appreciate it I am trying to vlog more um consistently more daily like doing daily vlogs I have done daily vlogs in the past and it's just been really really fun I'm in the middle of my makeup by the way I am a beauty blogger on Instagram, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. And also, I am a wife, a mummy of three kids. So anyways, I am in the middle of my makeup. Um, I've got three little kids, like I said. And they're back in mosque, so two girls, they're eight and six. So the eight-year-old, the six-year-old, they're back in the mosque four times a week four days a week so it's like really hectic can you imagine so they go to mosque friday to monday and my weekend is all about dropping them off picking them up all of that stuff like it's just a bit mental at the moment and also i work from monday to friday i work from home as like this administrator job thing going on where it's just all laptop based and i work nine o'clock in the morning till 6 p.m so yeah my life is really really hectic and i also do instagramming and youtubing as much as i can so anyways mustafa no uh my third child is mustafa four year old that has speech delay and we're working on him <laughs> um so yeah keep us in your prayers guys um anyways i'm just gonna get on with my makeup where it's a sunday by the way so it was lazy sunday what's the time now the time is 12 that's my sister hello hello everybody where are you going we are going to town i'm vlogging where is it town town no all right anyways that was my sister video calling me because apparently there's a dawat and my mom she's cooked chopped curry excuse the clothes on the radiator that looks so fun anyways um i have some new products by cult beauty that i've ordered cult beauty i've ordered these by the way and these are like classic makeup products that everyone knows they're old old staple products that i've actually never tried surprisingly so they're so expensive like i spent 90 pounds of my hard-earned money on just these products and there's one two three four five one two three four wait one two three four five products i can't count there's only five products and they're all most of these are like the small travel size because the full size is so expensive like it's ridiculous so anyways i have got so i've done my base by the way so i've got foundation on and i love the huda beauty stick foundation for like everyday wear it's like this is my color 320g twez leeches i don't know if i said that right but this is like spot on my color and i love how it blends and it just doesn't look cakey it looks very natural i love it and i also put on this contour which is like proper disgusting now it's a very old contour palette by abh anastasia beverly hills and what i do i just swipe all three bottom colors like i'm not a makeup artist by the way i have dropped the product where are they so yeah, like I was saying, I'm not a makeup artist, so all those MUAs out there, you know, don't tell me off. But anyways, um, and for concealer, I've um, used the um, Huda Beauty concealer. I can't find it now. 
like i'm all over the place today yes this one so huda beauty concealer this is my favorite concealer and i'm in the shade sugar biscuit which is like a little bit light which is perfect because it highlights everything so i've got a new product for the eyebrows which i've not used and i love using um powder for my eyebrows by the way i just love it so i've gone ahead because i've used the bro pomade which is like a really um wet formula if that makes sense like not a gel but it's like really really wet so when you apply it it does smudge and stuff but anyways and you need to like um put powder on top so i've never tried this this is granite brow powder duo and this is what it looks like so this is like a really old staple product by anastasia i forgot how much this was it was 20 something pound from cult beauty but anyways i'm gonna give it a go and hopefully let me move you guys up this is gonna be good um i think i have another product actually for the eyebrows which i'm gonna use afterwards it's the 24 hour brow setter by benefit i don't know should i put this on first and then the powder i don't know how see i'm not a makeup artist but anyways i've got another product by benefit and it's this tiny little product i think this was a uh, travel size one i don't know 24 hour invisible shaping and setting gel for brows so you basically ooh, pick up your brows with this should i try this first okay let me try this first what it does hey i've got some hairs that are really long can you see i've got one particular hair that is super long there i think i need to cut that that is embarrassing you know what i really like this because i don't know if you guys can see but it's got proper like comb yeah so look it's got proper nice comb on both sides so it's got a really teeny tiny comb at the top and a more spaced out comb which is really really cool i need to do my eyebrows they're horrific by the way i've lost my thread so i don't know where my thread is gone so my moustache, my eyebrows, everything is so horrendous at the moment. It's really embarrassing. Damn. Anyways, um, looking for my scissors. Scissors. I'm just going to cut that little eyebrow off. That's slightly long. You know the thing about my eyebrows? They're very sparse, but they grow so long. Like those sparse brows grow really, really long, which is really really weird um so i'm gonna go ahead and use the brow powder by abh in granite i'm gonna go ahead and use the dark shade first with this angled brush and i'm just gonna go ham bismillah hey my eyebrows are really dutta because of that they're like really stiff which i like and i feel like the powder is going on really nicely because of that gel that i applied by benefit and by the way i really struggle with my eyebrows like really struggle you don't understand because they're so uneven and there's like sparse areas like places that doesn't grow wow i really like that that was so quick this is good this is so pigmented honestly i can't believe i've not tried this before oh my god mashallah this is so good guys like look at that not done yet and i really like that gel that i got because the gel has made the eyebrows really stiff so the powder is sticking to it wow this is like magic okay this eyebrow is thicker than the other one 
see what I mean. Well, I'm just going to brush it upwards like so. Sorry if you guys didn't see any of that, but I just need to focus on this. Do they look even now? Doesn't matter. But yeah, I really like that and I didn't use the light colour. Should I try the light colour at the front? But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and use this really light ashy colour and see what it does. Oh, it's actually quite dark that ashy colour. It's filled in the front bit. There. I love it. I think that's done a really good job on the brows. I think that's really, really good. Mashallah. But anyways, that's a really nice strong brow. Um, the next product, I'm running out of time is i'm gonna use i'm really really excited about this by the way i've got no blusher on just contour is the nars blush and it's called it's called something really rude and i can't say it it's khasraism i'll say khasraism i write it down maybe but yeah um i'll show you it if i can, if it's on there let me show you it guys so this is what it's called can you see should i stay longer can you read it yeah it's called hasraism but i've got the tiny um travel size because again the full size is so expensive so i thought let me try it out first and if i like it i'm definitely gonna go and buy the full size and this is what the shade looks like how beautiful is that oh my god i'm so excited Okay, I'm going to go ahead and use this um, big fluffy brush and I'm just going to go ahead and just dip it in and put it on my cheeks. Bismillah. So there's so much hype. Ew, what was that? There's so much hype on this blusher it's ridiculous like oh wow it's got these little gold specks in it almost like a highlighter i really like it can you see that it's so shimmery so that side's got it and this side hasn't Emma. yes Oh my god, this is so beautiful, honestly. This is so beautiful. So I've got the blush on. I think that looks so nice. Oh my god. It's blended in so nicely. By the way. Really, really like that. Really like that. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Okay, so that's that. Um, I've also got um better than Khasrami Benefit, no sorry, Too Faced Mascara, again the name, why do they keep these names so Khasra, I don't understand, but again this name is Khasra, it's better than Khasrami, let me show you, better than Khasrami Too Faced Mascara, this is again, I've not used it by the way, again another really classic staple product that everyone needs apparently and this is what it looks like, let me see what the brush looks like. Wow. so it's a really nice thick brush what I'm gonna do is do a bit of um, eyeshadow which is gonna be really quick like 
get a fluffy brush and I'm just gonna apply like a really nice cool tone brown like this all over Okay, so the palette I use, by the way, is the Morphe 35X Big Primping Palette that I bought during Christmas. Christmas? And I actually really like that palette. It's beautiful. Um, what I'm going to do is um, curl my lashes. And I'm going to use this mascara, which I'm so excited about. See what the hype is all about. Wow. Honestly, that is with one coat. Like, just a few strokes. So this is my natural lashes, and those are my one coated lashes by this mascara. How cool is that? Honestly, this is actually a really good... I see what the hype is all about. I know Too Faced has a new mascara out, by the way. So I definitely want to try that one out next. That's both lashes done. That is beautiful. Just take the cream. Okay, uh, which one is it? Just take that one. Yeah, oh yeah. Not gonna lie, this is so messy. Like, the application can get really, really messy. I've got it everywhere. But I'm just, I'm going to clean it up afterwards. It looks like I've got fake lashes on to the max. Okay, so I just changed my battery because I ran out of battery. But I've done my mascara and it looks so beautiful. Honestly, like, it looks like I've got fake lashes on. And I love it. I love the results. It's way better than the current mascara I was using. Sorry. Not sorry. Anyways, I'm going to apply some quick blush, no, highlighter by Becca Cosmetics in Opal. And I'm just going to apply a tiny little bit on the top of my cheeks. Like so. No, it just pops in a different way, man. And on the top of my nose... Um, on my lips right now, I have a bit of um, lip liner on. And it's the lip liner by MAC Cosmetics. And I love using chestnut, which is a really dark, deep chocolate colour, which I love. Um, I also like using um, the other one, Whirl, I think it's called. But anyways, I'm going to put a lipstick in between which is which i've been loving by the way i've been loving juvia's place lipsticks so this is what they look like and i wow so i've got this nude color which is called me which is a really nice brownie nude color and actually pinky nude color and it's just so nice i'm very girly and I love that. And then all you need to do is put a bit of gloss on top. And it looks so nice. I've also been using the Juvia's Place Gloss, which is in CC. It's a really nice pinky brown colour. Done. So, the last thing I bought from Cult Beauty is the very famous Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. So I haven't used this as well, by the way. I don't know why. So we've got this, and it's a really tiny um, 
what do you call it travel size again so i'm gonna try this out mm, smells nice so that, hopefully that should last my makeup all day i'm gonna test all these out all day today and i'll let you know at the end of the day how it all i really like my makeup mashallah the blush is so beautiful the mascara everything i just love it i'm gonna apply my nose pins and then we are gonna head out now to town what's the time it is 1 13 so that took me about 10 minutes to do yes so anyways i'll see you guys in a bit bye bye so you guys i've just come back from town uh, we did a bunch of shopping and i thought i'd do a really really quick haul for you before i tidy everything up so i went into wilco's and i grabbed some mugs and yeah they're just normal clear mugs but they're in a different design they're like a little bit taller um and i really like the way they look they're really nice and thick and they feel like they're gonna last me long i do have the shorter rounder version that i think i got from wilco's as well actually um so i found these ones and they look really nice these were one pound 80 yeah one pound 80 and i grabbed six mugs by the way which is very very cool i also grabbed some thread to do threading with my moustache and eyebrows so that's important they gave a free hand gel sanitizer and I also got a pack of safety pins because I always need safety pins and I got some fairy washing up liquid as well so that was my Wilco's little haul and then whilst I was out shopping in Primark my husband picked up a perfume for me because it's Valentine's tomorrow but we don't really celebrate Valentine's I'll be honest with you my husband hates the whole idea of Valentine's and to be honest I feel like it's very commercial like you know whatever but he got me a valentine's gift because he knows i am going to be super cr cranky i am feeling really really cranky it's the time of the month and but the funny thing is yesterday me and my sister we did some research on valentine's and it's all about saint valentine's back in the days when he was a priest and it's his death anniversary i think today i mean tomorrow and valentine's day so it's very pagan kind of thing so we shouldn't really be celebrating i don't know why he got me but you know let's have a look this is what the box looks like oh my god this is exciting i actually don't know what he got me i i tried to ask the girls in the car but they had no clue i think i know what it is It is Paco Rabanne Lady Million Empire. So I don't actually have this one. I used to have Lady Million, the one. That was my favorite. How many meals is this? 50 mil. Ooh. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's really, really nice. It's like this... Um, gorgeous pinky color ah oh, it smells so nice oh that is so beautiful oh my god i love it wow thank, thank you husband i by the way picked up some flowers for myself because i love flowers and you know what i thought you know what there's there were so many lovely flowers in asda I picked up a bunch for myself. They were £15. These are handcrafted rolls and lilies. Five days of freshness. So I'm going to stick these in a uh, vase. And yeah. Really, really like flowers. But anyways, I'll show you what I got from Primark. I grabbed. Oh, 
a set, top and bottom set for Mustafa. So that they had all these new clothes for kids. Um, so I found this really cute jumper, like hoodie, four to five years old. They was this was seven pound. It's like this really nice navy blue color. And I also grabbed the bottoms, like the matching bottoms, which was seven pound, no six pound. It's really cute, They're like little skinny bottoms. And I grabbed Nuseba a really cute dress like a this kind of print like navy blue it's really nice thick i don't know i really like the look of this it's so cute i think she looks so cute in it this was eight pounds size five to six and i grabbed myself some um basic um what do you call these genjis like tops like sleeveless stretchy extra extra small tops and i like to wear these under my dresses like my outfit and then wear my waist trainer on top of these so because i hate wearing my waist trainer on my skin because it just irritates my skin oh carly is here so i grabbed two of these because i'm gonna start um trying to get fit and working out and i love wearing the waist trainer i'll show you what waist trainer i wear guys i'll get it from amazon or ebay but it's like a really nice stretchy waist trainer right so i just went and found a jug this is like a plastic jug that i bought from asda once upon a time i've never used it so what i'm gonna do is put the flowers in here because i can't find a vase i did have a really nice vase for flowers but i put it away somewhere i have no idea where yeah so anyways i'm gonna use this um yeah So yeah, by the way guys, update on my life. So tomorrow we're having these gardeners coming, like landscapers, for our garden. So we're going to put artificial grass everywhere in our garden. So they're coming tomorrow at 8 o'clock in the morning. And it's going to take them about two days. Um, and we've chosen the nicest quality grass. Like it's really nice and thick and bouncy. It's like it's got foam inside it. So, I am so excited to get that sorted. Alhamdulillah. I'm going to have to cut the stem down a bit. But yeah, I'm really, really excited to get the grass done. I know from, you have to cut it at an angle with each stem. So yeah, I'm really excited to get the garden done. We were supposed to get it done last year. But we didn't because money and stuff, you know, we just wasn't financially there. But this year, me and my husband are going half and half, by the way. So, yeah, it's costing us um, £1,550. So the guy did quote 1650 and then we bought it down to 1550 So he knocked off £100. Seems like a really nice guy um, that are going to do it. But yeah, we're so excited because we always wanted like artificial grass and it's going to look nice and clean. We're going to get some furniture for the garden and you know, it'll be just nice in the summer for the kids. Because right now we have like slabs and then we've got the corner where there's soil and in like quarter of the garden has soil with bricks around it, which I absolutely hate because you get so much weed growing there. And right now the cat does his business in there. And I hate that. So I'm going to have to buy the cat. Um, a thingy magic. A um, cat litter for outside. So do you guys have any um, advice on what to do for the cat? He likes to stay outside. Like what do I do if he wants to do poo poo? Should I just buy a normal cat litter? No. no. Mm. 
Okay, so that's done. This is what it's going to look like. It's so pretty. I'm just going to fill this up with water. And then... Put them in. About this much water. I'm going to put in the... Where's the ocean gone? I'm going to put in the little solution that comes with it. Mm. Got a little stir. And then stick the flowers in here. Feels like love, Cupid made a shot Straight into my heart Now I'm falling fast and my world's expanding Feels like love, even though we're kind of nervous Together we'll be strong I don't know for sure all I know Didn't know what hit me when we started I was shaking electric Trying to stay calm and collected On that summer afternoon We were shining Like a gem in the sunlight We were riding to 